Sample one is the thin lap joint. 2.7 millimeter thick steel overlapped. Use the earth strap to hold in place. Using the judging card that's been provided, mark your minimum and maximum weld bead length. We do stitch welds to control heat input into the steel. If we go longer than that, we will overheat the steel. A good trick for this is to use the shroud as the guide to keep it nice and straight. Use a 45 degree angle with a 10 degree angle into the joint itself. You'll see this weld meets the requirements for the minimum and maximum lengths. Meets the minimum requirement for width and doesn't exceed being too wide. Our weld bead height is also adequate. If we turn this weld around, what we look for on the rear side of this weld sample is our mount through width. All we're looking for is a narrow ripple on the rear side. If we have excessive heat input and telltales on the rear side of the sample, the weld may fail due to overheating. Weld sample number one was completed on 1.4 metal thickness, 68 amps, and our arc length was negative 0.05.